Excellent. Thank you uh, very much uh, for everybody for taking time out. We have a lot to go through today, so um, I just want to kind of paint a picture of, of what we're going to cover. The focus is going to be on our Anytime Collect credit collections uh, management application that we've built. Um, this is an application we've been offering to the market for, I don't know, probably five, six years now. And uh, just recently, we made it available exclusively um, in a kind of a packaged version for Intuit QuickBooks. So I'm pretty excited to be able to share some of the advances that we've made to bring this technology down for the smaller business uh, so they can gain some new efficiencies. And so with that, let's go ahead and uh, dig right into the presentation. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is an introduction. Okay? Um, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about why we developed uh, the application and kind of the history and some of the problems that it addresses. Um, one of the things I always like to point out, companies don't really realize this, but on average, this is based on the research we've done, most companies are writing off about 4% of the receivables every year. So let's say that you're doing a million dollars in uh, annual revenue or annual sales. That means that you're writing off about $40,000 every year, okay? And that's for every million dollars in revenue. What if you could get a 20% reduction in that? That would save you $8,000 annually. And then the other consideration there is how much more would you have to sell to make up for that loss? Certain industries, we work a lot of distributors, as an example. You know, they're operating on razor-thin margins, 3 4 5%. You have to sell a lot of product to make up for that loss. So we're really excited with the application to be able to bring this technology to smaller businesses to help them get paid faster um, and to avoid all these uh, costly bad debt write-offs. So why do we develop Anytime Collect for QuickBooks? We look at the small business market, and what we discovered was that if you're a small business, it doesn't matter if you have five employees, one employee, 20 employees, you are especially vulnerable to cash flow issues. You know, I remember when we were a much smaller company, and we would go sell, right? We sell product, we sell service, and then we would have cash flow issues because we weren't paying attention to our accounts receivable. And all of a sudden, the boss would come in and say, hey, uh, we need to make payroll next month, and uh, we have all this buildup in our accounts receivable. We need to get paid so that we can pay you. Um, and this is an issue for small business owners, especially because they don't have a dedicated staff that's trained or has the appropriate tools to be effective in managing their accounts receivable. So it's even more important for, I believe, the small business owner. Small businesses also have a harder time securing business loans, right? If you're, you know, established one or two years ago, you know, you don't have an established credit line or maybe you're paying higher interest rates. So it's incredibly important for the small business to be able to have access to that working capital. The other thing that we looked at was the fact that most small businesses really have no formalized accounts receivable or collections process. They're using a mix of uh, aging reports, um, you know, the variety pack highlighters, those types of things to manage it. And it's really ineffective. The last point here, the reason we developed it is because there really wasn't anything in this space available for a very affordable price for the small business owner. There are, are other applications on the, uh, the QuickBooks uh, marketplace that are available that are similar in some respects to what we provide, uh, but most of them are very, very basic. Um, they offer no customization, and for the QuickBooks user that is a little bit more sophisticated, um, it basically, those apps basically fall apart, where with Anytime Collect, we have three editions. The functionality scales depending on your unique needs, and we'll talk about that in today's presentation. So this is what your process looks like today. I would almost bet the farm on it because we work with a lot of QuickBooks customers. You sell something, right? It doesn't matter if you're selling product or service. We have a, a good mix of customers using the product in uh, service industries or distributors, manufacturers, those types of businesses. So you sell it. And then, if you're lucky, it takes you about a week, maybe more, to create and send the invoice to the customer. And then nothing happens. You basically are sitting there on the wing of prayer, hoping that your customers are going to pay you on time. It's almost like somebody turned out the lights, like everything goes dark, right? We have all these processes in place to manage our sales, you know, marketing to sales, 
then we sell it and we basically are just sitting there waiting to get paid. Anytime Collect fills that gap, it's everything that happens from the time the invoice is created in QuickBooks to the time you get paid. Now what we know is that a lot of our customers aren't going to pay us on time and the invoices are going to continue to age and that's going to cause problems for us. We're going to realize we have a major cash issue on hand, cash flow issue. We're going to start dialing for dollars, but in a lot of cases it's going to be too late. Right? We're, we're calling you know, six months after uh, you know, they were supposed to pay us. At that point in time, they've either moved on or you know, there's a dispute on an invoice and we have to go research something that we don't have a lot of information on. So we really need to be more proactive at the front end of that process. The other problem that we all have, right, is that our systems are all over the place. We have some data in QuickBooks. We have maybe some data in a CRM system. We have email communications with our customers in Outlook. We have printed Asian reports with a lot of uh, scratches and notes on it. And we have a lot of information, tribal knowledge that's in our own heads and is not available for other people to access. And it's taking us way too long to figure out what we already did and what we need to do next. And I know a lot of you on the call today can relate to this. So let's talk about um, kind of the features and benefits that we provide with Anytime Collect. We can automate email reminders to customers. So if they have invoices coming to do, do in the next three or five business days, they can receive um, a friendly reminder that that, that uh, invoice is coming due. Um, unlike some of the other apps that are available, um, we allow you to customize the email templates. And you can also customize um, some of the what we call a report template, which would be your collection letters or your past due notices. We're going to help you reduce bad debt write-offs. We're going to help you improve uh, cash flow and working capital. We're going to centralize everything into one system so you're not looking for information in your personal email account. Um, we're going to streamline the process and make it incredibly easier so you can get paid a lot faster and a lot easier than you ever imagined. Okay. Functionally, I wanted to put up um, kind of a graphic here to kind of paint a picture of all the things that we do within the application. And we do have the three editions. So what we're going to focus on really today is the basic edition for QuickBooks. And we do a lot of things there, right? We can do the automated email, the mail merge templates. We can give you a prioritized list of the, the companies that you need to call. Um, we have built-in document management, so you can store information about your customers, contracts, bills of lading, things like that. Um, we do some cash forecasting in the software, bringing all that information into a central location, providing a real nice dashboard and reports and inquiries for you so you can analyze what's going on and how effective you are. And then we do provide the out-of-the-box integration with, um, with QuickBooks. Now, for the companies that are looking for something a little bit more, um, our standard and enterprise editions include everything that you see in the basic, but they also help you with dispute management. They enable online uh, customer payments via credit card or ACH. Um, we have a number of global options that we've rolled out. We support multi-currency, uh, multi-ERP, multi-company. Um, we are also launching multilingual. Um, the languages we'll be supporting are English, uh, United States uh, version, uh, British English, uh, Hebrew, of all things, um, Spanish and Portuguese, and there are others that are slated uh, for release later this year. Uh, email alerts, user notifications, uh, credit team management if you have a larger team, uh, as well as uh, credit risk management. Let's talk a little bit about how we integrate with uh, QuickBooks, and we're going to focus on two areas here. For those of you on the call today that are using the QuickBooks online or QBO uh, application, it's a very, very streamlined integration. So you basically are going to go to your, your QuickBooks online, you'll sign up for the trial, we'll walk through that here in a little bit, and then within our application, um, there's a sync schedule. You can schedule the data sync to pull the data from QuickBooks online, and that moves it into our database, okay? We are a Microsoft managed partner. Um, our data is on their uh, Microsoft SQL Azure Cloud. They're one of the larger cloud providers out there. So very secure. That data then is accessed from our application, which is also hosted on Microsoft Azure. Okay, so it's 100% true software as a service, web-based application. 
And below that graphic there, you can see um, how the data sync works. So within our software, there's a menu item, and we'll, we'll show you this later, where you can do sync data. It'll take you to the sync screen, and then you can either manually um, initiate the sync, or you can see that there's a little button for schedule sync, where you can set up the schedule to automatically synchronize the data from QuickBooks into Anytime Collect, you know, daily or, or hourly or however frequently you want that information pulled in. Okay. QuickBooks Desktop. Um, this is a little different. Um, if you look on the bottom there, you know, we got the little QuickBooks Desktop uh, box there. You're going to buy. It doesn't matter to us which version, Pro, Premier, Enterprise, Super Enterprise. Um, if it's getting installed on the desktop, um, we're using an SDK or Software Developer Kit um, that we've had available for a number of years to pull that data in um, via a scheduled Windows task, okay? Now, where that data goes is going to depend on your choices. With the desktop edition, you can choose to either push that up to our cloud, right, again on Microsoft Azure, pushing that outside of your firewall into the cloud, and then you would connect via um, the web browser, okay? And that also would be hosted on Azure. The other option, um, we don't run into it too often, but every once in a while we run into a company that has some very specific requirements where they want to have an application that's hosted within their firewall on their own domain. We run into it most often in medical um, industries where there's maybe some HIPAA compliance, um, specifically around how they handle email. If that's the case, we do have an option with our Enterprise Edition uh, to be able to sync that data to an on-premise version of Microsoft SQL Server, and then you can set up our application and host it on an IIS server within your domain. So in essence, what you're setting up here is a completely in-house, on-premise instance of the software. Again, that's maybe 1% of all the companies we work with, but it is available. I want to talk a little bit about the Intuit Sync Manager. Um, some of you on the call today may be aware of this tool. Um, it was available with certain versions of QuickBooks Pro, Premier, and Enterprise. And what it basically did was it copied your company file um, up to Intuit's cloud, which they call the Intuit Partner Platform. And Intuit pushed a lot of us out there, a lot of um, the third-party developers like Anytime Collect to be able to develop applications to integrate to this strategy. Uh, no sooner did we finish that integration than we got a notice from Intuit announcing that they're discontinuing this for the desktop. Okay, This is still available for QuickBooks Online, but if you are not using the Sync Manager today, you will not be able to sign up for it or to utilize it after March 1st of this year. If you are currently using the, the Sync Manager, you will be able to continue using that as a means to integrate with Anytime Collect and other apps until March 1st of 2016. At that point in time, Intuit is going to end all support for that utility. I don't know if that means that it goes away altogether, if it's simply unsupported, um, but we have strategy in place that um, will address that. We do have some customers that are using that Intuit Sync Manager today. Um, we will continue to support them, and then we, we will be moving them to our SDK integration down the road. We are also looking at um, other options. There's um, a tool out there that we're investigating where we can basically do the same thing Intuit did with the um, IPP cloud strategy. Um, the reason that Intuit claims that they've discontinued this utility is that more of you are buying QuickBooks Online than QuickBooks Desktop. And we do agree that you know, the market is moving more toward a cloud model. Um, our major concern with that is that Intuit has some pretty significant functional gaps to close with QuickBooks Online, especially if you're a distributor or manufacturer and you're very inventory centric. I do know that they um, have announced plans to address that um, with some different acquisitions and new features they're adding. Um, but quite honestly, we're kind of stuck in limbo there. There's a reason a lot of people implement the desktop today, and that's because functionally it does a lot more than online. Uh, so we'll continue to monitor that. All right, so that's the introduction. Why don't we show you what this, uh, this application looks like? 